Hey guys, and welcome back to Sarge's World. Well, it used to be Sarge's World, but it's now mine. I added stuff, and yeah, it's now my world. Um, today I'm going to be looking at command stats, and uh, yeah, just basically what it is, and very, very basic use cases for it. First off, note the the uh, progress bar at the bottom. This will explain to you what I'm talking about now, uh, what I'm going to be talking about next, and so forth. So if there's anything you want to skip, feel free. At least you'll know where to jump back into the video, and wherever whatever catches your fancy now <clears throat> to understand command stats you need to understand first of all nbt and what nbt data is now nbt data very very quickly is any data associated with uh, an entity with blocks with the world itself uh, and so forth so for example if we just have a look at this golem over here nbt data for example can be things like is it is the golem angry is it not angry was the golem created by a player was it actually naturally forming um, what speed it's moving in is there any effects has it been done any damage etc etc so it's any data associated with um, a particular entity or block okay it's called nbt data and is stored in its own file for example the players.dat file is the nbt file for for the players um, the world.dat file is for the world itself and then all the various little little that files all over the place that deals with the rest. So that's the one. You need to at least know that MBT data uh, stores data based on that entity. The second thing you need to have intermediate to advanced knowledge is scoreboards. Okay, so this actually does use scoreboard scoreboards to track things, but you need to know how to manipulate it to get the data out. Okay, right, so um just going to jump straight into it. Now, um, it's easier to actually look at it in this way. So, first off, command stats adds custom, or not custom, adds predefined NBT data to a selected entity or block. Now, as you can see over here, you do that by adding block data and then adding the, whatever follows to that particular block that you are targeting. Okay, so uh, it can only be uh, data carrying blocks that executes commands okay so that'll be a, a command block or it'll be a sign because the sign can now actually uh, execute um, uh, tell roll so you can do, use it on signs and you can use it on books I haven't tested it with a book yet but if a book can execute a command you should in theory be able to pick it up by embedding it in uh, in it however it's not an entity and it's not a block. I need to find out. I'll find out. I'll find out. Okay, cool. So, um, there are four, basically four new stats that you can add, right? Which is the success count. It's the first one. You can do affected blocks. You can do affected entities. And you can do affected items. Now, these come in has two name or two variables itself as well so first off is success count name so it's the name part of it and you you have objective okay now the name is the best way to describe this is a fake player name that is used to add scoreboard scored score to okay so for example um, display name over here is a fake name that will be created I right? and then um, whatever objective I have set up, I will then add that objective values to that fake player. So if we have a look on the, let me just quickly switch on uh, this one over here. Hold on. So if we look at this, you'll see that I've got items. So these gunpowder, sand, lava, sword, and explosives, these are fake player names. And then based on uh, various other commands, I am then adding a scoreboard objective uh, score to those names okay so that is what these two are for example if we look at affected block names you'll see that the fake name uh, let's say we can go say call that uh, sand for example and the affected block objective is blocks so let's say I'm running a full command and I'm going I'm going to replace all um, sand with with gravel I will then get how many how many ever blocks I have successfully replaced will then go into the blocks objective for the fake player called sand okay yeah makes sense yes no <clears throat> same with entities you can actually um, specify which entity to target so in this case I'm targeting a zombie um, that is uh, 
and I'm only targeting one zombie, so I'm targeting zombie, only targeting one zombie of that, and is within a zero block radius. Now, this should actually not be uh, added to the command block, but to the zombie itself. But we'll get we'll get to that. Okay. Um, right. So those are the four. Now you can add it to a block, or you can actually summon an entity with these tags already embedded in them. Now the best way to actually explain this is by summoning this zombie over here. Um, so I'm going to be summoning a zombie. Okay. I'm going to add command block stats, a command stats, and I'm going to do a success count. Now the name of that um, entity is actually going to be the entity itself. So I'm going to be selecting um, only one entity that's within a zero block radius of the entity that's running this command. So it'll be the entity itself. And the success count in this case is success count. <laughs> okay, so this is the objective that I've created. Okay, so that's how you would add it to an entity. So let's really have a look at some of the examples that I came up with. So uh, first off, let's look at uh, the item. So let me just quickly turn on that, that there. So basically, um, as the name suggests, affected items. When you manipulate an item in any way by adding to it, to, uh, by adding an item uh, to a place inventory, by removing it, or by just doing anything to that item, you can actually detect how many items has been affected. Okay, so um, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be look for lava, look for for gunpowder, look for diamond sword, look for TNT. Look, uh, okay, so that, that's what we're going to be looking for. Now, on the scoreboard on the right-hand side, okay, on the display, you'll see that I have fa created fake player names for each it item. So I've created lava as a fake player name, explosives as a fake player name, and sword as a fake player name, etc., etc. And then, if we have a look at our um, command stats, I've created a scoreboard objective called items, Okay, and then when I'm now going to add how many items has been affected to the lava when I'm trying to clear lava. So when I'm trying to clear a lava bucket, I'm going to add the amount of lava buckets that was found to the scoreboard. And then it works exactly the same for all the others. Okay, so if I walk through uh, if I walk through this little inventory scanner you'll see I've got none of the contraband items in my event inventory if I for example uh, add some TNT let's add let's just add some gunpowder I'll add a sword and I'll add the TNT bucket oh, not TNT bucket lava bucket you'll see I can't enter because I'm carrying the contraband items now have a look at the scoreboard on the side if I get rid of the bucket you'll see that it the score gets reset Okay, if I get rid of the TNT, you'll see that the explosives gets less. And when I get rid of the gunpowder, it uh, remo removes it as well. And I can now walk through. Now, I do know I've got the sword as a contraband item, but it's not actually something that'll blow up the place. <laughs> okay, so when I've got all this stuff in, okay, you'll see I can no longer enter. Um, you can also do some very clever scoreboard trickery um, by using the new scoreboard op uh, play operators operators by uh, adding scoreboard things together so let me just quickly change uh, the which ones it's this one over here let me just quickly change the, the circuits so you'll see for now when i try and go through i can't go through okay because i have enough items here to make uh one piece of dynamite so i can't sneak through here <laughs> and then go inside and then make it but if i drop one of these so let's just drop one one of sand if I, you'll see it'll then go through okay uh if i pick that sand up again you'll see i can't go can't go through if i drop tnt oh sorry the gunpowder i'm very tired i've been at this for ages now you'll see i can now go in once i'm in yeah i can't build it okay so you can do very very clever 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 stuff with it now with effect, affected blocks, it's exactly the same as uh, was with the affected items in that when uh, a command block or an entity uh, runs any kind of command that changes a, a block, uh, you, can then you can then detect the amount of blocks that has been affected. For example, um, over here I have all of these gold blocks, <clears throat> okay, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, when I use a bucket over there, I'm going to fill 
all of the gold blocks with end portal frames. I am then going to count how many blocks was underneath me at that stage and I'll then give the player the equivalent amount of gold nuggets. So this will just simulate um, this will simulate like a, um, you know, the old west gold rush panning for gold. Okay, so these are the commands that is running it, these row over here. Okay, so there's not a lot of commands that will do this. So let me just quickly get a bucket. Um, let me just quickly get a bucket, get a bucket, get a bucket. Uh, that's the wrong one. Okay, and I do need to be in game mode uh, zero. Okay, cool. So, oh, uh, where am I? Here we, here we go. So... When I am standing, let's say over here, uh, and I do that, you'll see I found three gold nuggets. And you also look in my inventory, I now have three gold nuggets. So if I try that again, uh, nope, there is no more gold over here. Let's see if I can pan over here. Whoa, two gold nuggets. Nothing. Uh, no, oh, two gold nuggets. Is there any more? Any more? Any more? Nope. What about over here? Nothing. Nothing. There we go. Full mother load. Okay. Um, so that is one of the things you can actually do with it is uh, count how many blocks has been affected. So I've got 11. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So you can count how many blocks has been affected and then you can manip manipulate it and do all kinds of other stuff based on the amount of blocks that you found. Now, that whole mechanism was this over here. Uh, the ones at the bottom is just your title. So that is that is very cool. Now I will make more in-depth videos on these uh, concepts at, at a later stage. Um, for now, I just want you to understand the uh, this command stats. Okay. Now affected entities is just as cool a command. Okay. So um, once again, I've done exactly the same. Uh, let me just uh, set the scoreboard on the side. Uh, you'll see that I have created fake players called witches, creepers, zombies, skeletons, and players. Okay, so those are all fake players. And then I have a scoreboard um, objective I created called server, <clears throat> which are, the idea was to show how many players and are on a server. Okay, and then when I run the following commands and I, I affect an entity, so whether I'm adding, if I'm adding any kind of potion effect or I'm, I'm running any command against an entity it'll then give back the amount of entities that has been affected now i'm going to do uh the actual command that uh seth bling showed in his video on command stats i'm what i'm going to do is uh, why is this executing i'm going to teleport all players okay uh all players i'm going to teleport relative to themselves to exactly where they are so they won't see a thing, they won't feel a thing, they won't. They, it'll have no consequence to them, but I have affected them in a way that I can detect. So I'm doing that to players, and I'm going to be doing that to entities, and this is a zombie, and I'm going to be doing it to an entity skeleton, uh, entity creeper, and entity witch. Okay, and then the blocks above here just added the data to them, which will then add that to the various scores okay right so to show you how that works if i then just quickly pop up oh, what, what am i oh, i'm still carrying i'm still carrying uh the contraband let me just get rid of this let's get rid of all of this okay so if i now enter my little compound okay uh and i just grab a few of these eggs so on the right uh right hand side you'll see that i have uh all of the items, all of the different entities over there that I'm going to be tracking. So first off, creeper. So keep your eye on the right. So the moment I spawn a creeper, you'll see nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? I need to turn on the clock. Oh dear. Okay. Let me just turn off this one just to keep it nice. I need to turn on the circuit. Okay. Right. <laughs> now you will see on the right hand side. Um, <laughs> You will see I've now got two creepers. If I spawn another one, I've got three creepers. Now, the creepers can be anywhere in this compound. Um, so you'll see there, like, I've already got nine creepers. However, if I spawn it outside of that compound, you'll see it doesn't find it. Okay, I'm still on nine. Let me just get a sword quickly. Uh, right. Now, if I add uh, a witch, so just add a witch in there, you'll see the witch goes up, witch goes up, witch goes up. 
If I add zombies, uh, the zombies go up, doom, 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 and you'll see the stuff is all pretty much in real time. And if I add skeletons, add a skeleton there, skeleton there, skelly there, skelly there. Alright, so you can actually have an accurate count of um, how many, you know, entities is floating about. Right, so if I kill any one of them, you'll see that it will lower the count on the right hand side. Okay, let's just get rid of all of the creepers. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? All right, and where we are now? Six, five, four, three. Uh, where are we? Where is skeleton zombies? Which is creepers? Three, 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 three. There's the other one. Okay, two, and there's the other two. Okay, right. So this is how you can do and what you can maybe use the affected entities for. Very, very cool. And now the last but not least. Um, we come to the example I used right, 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 right in the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to summon the zombie and I'm going to use success count. So anytime this zombie successfully runs um, a command, it will then uh, it will then set the success count objective, which I've handily called success count, to one. Okay. However, when I spawn the zombie, okay, its success count will be equal to null, not zero to null which means it doesn't exist on the entity's uh, scoreboard or that and you have to get that entity onto the scoreboard before you can actually add scores to them so when i summon this entity the first thing that's going to or the second thing that's going to happen is i'm going to set all players that's an entity that's not a player within a four block radius i'm going to set their success count to zero so i'm going to set their success count to zero means meaning that i'm going to be creating that success count on the scoreboard dot that which will then allow me to the minecraft to add these scores and the last thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to add or set the sidebar so that we can actually see okay so let's do that and there we go um, now you'll see that was the previous let me just um let me just quickly just get rid of get rid of that just kill him quickly there we go let's do it again there we go so you'll see it successfully applied it and it's actually given a, a uuid so this is the uuid of that mob so if i run a very basic command okay so if i go uh do i still have those commands yeah no i don't so we go um execute so we can execute at e uh oopsie what am i doing type equals zombie r equals 10 okay hey right, come back where are you going where are you going silly monkey okay let's just do this again all right there we go so i'm going to execute uh, at the zombie and i'm going to do a very simple say hi all right now you'll see first off the zombie said hi and you'll see its success count is now set to one if i give an incorrect command like just say You'll see that it, first of all it gives me an error um that it's giving me an error because i'm typing in the chat but you'll also see that it now sets it to zero okay so if i do anything else so execute add zombie uh, effect uh at all oops if at all one 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 just give everybody a speed of 10. okay you'll see that it successfully did it right now I know there's you're probably wondering what on earth and how on earth can you probably use this well i've got a very basic example of how this can be quite powerful so if i yeah the circuit is running so you'll see look at my scoreboard on the on the right hand side okay the moment i actually walk through this this uh detector you'll see that it pops up the moment i walk away it goes away now normally you would do all kinds of trickery with uh, inverted signals and clocks and all of that but it's just these two command blocks over here okay now what's happening is i'm actually running i've actually added uh, a success count a success count to this command block as well so you can see i can add multiple commands to one command block so i've added the success count to this command so that when it picks up that there's a player it sets it sets the that uh, it sets the player uh, success objective display to one okay when the display is actually zero so when the display is zero it just sets a blank scoreboard okay so it just it just sets the side display 
to nothing so that it disappears. When a player is in that area, okay, uh, it then sets up their scoreboard. So this is just a very easy, easy and quicker way and more reliable way to control the scoreboard showing and hiding. Okay, guys, this is about it. Um, I will show some of these concepts in more detail at a later stage. Um, but this map is up for download. So download it, come in here, go flick switches, play with stuff, play with Sarge's examples. And uh, yeah, this is the future. This is the future. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later. Are you guys still here? Go, go, go away. Go play with the stuff. Don't, don't, don't watch me. Go, go, go play. Go play.